Hey, hey, my peeps, it is the Goose Man coming back at you with the start of the final scenario in Grand Campaign West 45. Sea Lion, where we are invading England in 1945. Highly unlikely, but I am very eager to play this as this will be blind, and it's with five less turns than normal because I'm playing at Guderian difficulty. Before we begin, I wanted to talk about this scenario, as this is a perfect example of why I love this game so, so much, and why I keep playing it over and over and over again. <clears throat> Let me start by saying, this is where I started. My units were deployed here, here, and here. My initial thoughts were to come here like this, maybe taking some airfields along the way. There's an airfield there. <clears throat> and up here, and focus my main attack up here so that I could get the um, main objectives and start to push down to get the main objectives here. I had 12 turns to do this. As I was playing, or at the start, I'm thinking there's no way I can do this blind. I can't see myself being able to figure out where the units are, where I need to put my units in order to succeed to beat this scenario. But what happened, let me turn down that music because it doesn't need to be on right now. <clears throat> as I was going, as I was pushing through initially here, I quickly changed from wanting to come here to just focusing on here as I saw a lot of units on the ground here, here. They were just everywhere. Everywhere they could be in a defensive position or like a hedgehog defense, they were there. <clears throat> and I needed to push through quickly, so I consolidated my forces to push up through here. So by the end of my third scenario, I had not faced any um, air units, and I had pushed right to here. I had my, <clears throat> my main objectives here taken, sorry, about to be taken here, and I had all the rest of my units just kind of fanned out here, working to come through because they had units in the swamps area, and I believe I saw at this point, yeah, I did, <clears throat> the units that they had here. So I was mainly focusing on around here. I had five uh, rounds left to do. So I began to think five rounds, one, two, three, four. That's all I need to take over. I'm gonna seize this, the first of the five rounds, I'll seize this the second of the five rounds, swing around for the third of the five rounds, take this for the fourth of the five rounds, and seize this last spot for that fifth and final round. After the third round, or well, after that first fifth round, all of a sudden they've never had um, any air force. They came out with an air force. Oh crap. <laughs> and I had to adjust based on that. I got bogged down here, so I wasn't able to seize this in the second of the third rounds. And the third round, I was still stuck around here. So I was going to be starting the fourth round, not having swung around here, not having these areas, and um, just starting to break through here. What am I going to do? How am I going to get past this? I finished that fourth broadcast dejected, feeling like I'm not going to win, feeling like I'm going to be shooting my final, my first defeat. If you guys wanted to see it, so I'd send it to you guys, or I'll post it. And then I did that fifth broadcast, where I, well, I'd like to say, brilliantly took this and this on the very last turn by buying four strategic bombers and um, 
moving in very systematically to seize the needed objectives, these last two. And that garnered me the victory. Super happy about that. And now I'm ready to start the next scenario. And this is why I love the game is because it, it has you doing those ups and downs, those feeling like you're gonna lose to I'm gonna win. I love that. All right, let's get started. The American and British forces on the continent have been completely shattered and you've managed to capture an enormous fleet of transport and landing craft from right under their noses. As unimaginable as it seems, we will probably never have a better opportunity to take the initiative on the Western Front by invading England now. I'm certain that our own high command will be as surprised as our enemies will be of this move, but I am absolutely confident that it must be done. Prepare your forces for the final battle, Air General. I shall do my utmost to convince the General Field Marshal to galvanize high command and get them to provide you with as much support as possible. All right, I got a video. Westen, auf den westlichen Feldern geht die Rechnung der Feinde nicht auf. Sie glaubten, bei Erreichung der deutschen Grenzen würde Deutschland zusammenbrechen. Das Gegenteil ist der Fall. Deutsche Reserven marschieren an. Hier liegt Geilenkirchen im Blickfeld der Kämpfe. Die Schüler der Unteroffizierschule Jülich haben die Verteidigung von Geilenkirchen übernommen. Nach der Lageerklärung erfolgt die Einweisung in die Kampfpositionen. Mit allen Waffen ausgerüstet beziehen sie ihre Standorte. Durch schwere RAD-Flak werden angreifende amerikanische Panzer unter Feuer genommen. All right, that's where we'll stop it and get started with. Oh, okay, more briefing. <clears throat> No one believed we could accomplish all that we have, but here we are, Herr General. Once again, we stand on the banks of the English Channel. Thanks to your efforts thus far, both in halting the Soviets in the East and liberating vast quantities of supplies and transports from the British and Americans, we have the perfect opportunity to end the war on the West Front with an invasion of our own. Your objective is to conquer Britain by securing all Allied flag hexes. With our sudden reversal of fortunes, I have been able to procure the remnants of our surface and U-boat fleets to join in your invasion of Great Britain. I am certain you will find their assistance critical to fight off major American and British naval assets challenging your invasion. Should you emerge victorious against the Allied battlefields, I strongly urge you to intercept any reinforcements stemming towards Great Britain from the Atlantic to the West. As a warning, you should expect extremely fierce resistance from the British on their homeland, and you may even have some trouble establishing a proper breachhead. To assist you in this, I have placed numerous V-weapons at your disposal, and more are on the way. This will likely be the final battle, so don't be shy about using these weapons to the last. Good luck, Herr General. We stand on the brink of Germany's greatest victory and our only chance to end this war on favorable terms. So this is the map, very um, ambitious map to say the least, a lot of hexes. <clears throat> I didn't realize I was going to have to seize all the uh, allied flags. That makes it sound like I don't just have to take the major objectives, but also these minor objectives as well, which makes them all essentially major objectives. That's going to stink. I have 42 units to do it, 35 rounds to do it in, and that much prestige, and it's supposed to get 300 per turn. But this is what I've loaded up. <clears throat> I have 22 um, 
units left to deploy, but I'm waiting to see what I can take in this first round. I unfortunately am wagering I don't have the initiative. Something tells me, based on this briefing, that I don't have the initiative since they said that you're going to have trouble getting a beachhead. I feel like these units are going to move up and attack me and piss me off. <clears throat> but this is my thinking. Establish a beachhead here, here, all along here, and start pushing forward. To seize this by turn 10. Seize London by turn 10. This by turn 15. This by turn 20. Or, yeah, be up here by turn 20. Push past this by turn 30. And by 35. I don't know. I'm just eager. I don't even care if I win this, to be honest with you. I'm just eager to finish this out. This has been an extremely fun playthrough. And I have a lot of units left to deploy. 22. But my soft cap is at 58 because I bought the big dogs. All right, enough chatter. I've wasted enough time on this. Let's see what happens. Oh, I do have initiative. It's been cloudy. I brought all my big dogs here. This means I will deploy my units right here. because I can. <clears throat> Look at that. You're going to regret that. I'm really surprised. Hmm. Yeah, what am I going to do? I was expecting more resistance. Should put in artillery. I really didn't know. Hmm. Yeah, I really should have been more, whatever. Let's blow this guy up. Do I have? Can I suppress? Mm -hmm. No, I don't have anything that can suppress. Have you? There we go. wasn't cloudy. <clears throat> hmm. 
Mm. Wow. Okay. I almost feel like I should wait for these view. Screw that. Let's see what I have in the background. That's not a bomb, this is a bomb. <clears throat> bomb. Hmm. Yep. Let's take him out. Who is this guy supposed to be? Jag the Robound. Al Galand. I've heard of him. I forget his first name. Probably Adolf. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. That's a very good fighter. Let's take a sneak peek with this guy like this. Hmm. <clears throat> my thinking with my Navy is I only want to bring them around when I get them all consolidated. Let's bring him down. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be a long battle. Probably only going to be able to do one day for quite a while. Should probably taking the yeah, yeah yeah let's see what we have yep Mm-hmm. 
<clears throat> oh, what? I'm not sure why my soft cap is so high, but I like the thought of bringing artillery back these up. My thinking is I need to guard any more units I deploy. And I only have limited amount of planes to do it. So I'm gonna leave this one to replenish because it's just too easy. Yeah, the rest. Yeah, let's see what they have here. Yep, 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 yep. You guard this up here. Gal dang, I won't be able to guard anything up here. Yeah, I didn't play that smart. stuff in here. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -mm. No, you're just going to go way back here. You. Go right here. To protect. <clears throat> yep. Yeah, like that. <clears throat> yeah, I'll deploy three artillery just to help with the assault. There we go, 95%. And you, no, I don't think I'll deploy you yet. Okay. Ew. 
beautiful. These guys are hitting good. Yeah. I'm going to trust that they cannot be seen. Yeah. I'm going to trust that they cannot be seen here. Those guys can be seen. So I'm gonna hit them with my battle cruiser. Graf Zeppelin, ready to use an aircraft carrier. Beautiful. All right, 95%, let's see what they do. We'll call it a broadcast. Yeah, he gone. In a big way. Interesting choice. Cloudy weather right now. Set there. <clears throat> okay so ends our day one hope you enjoyed as oh 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 beautiful look at all those glorious rockets i'm wagering that they're gonna come and attack something maybe maybe eventually <clears throat> all i know is if you like comment please subscribe and as always stay lutheran my friends <laughs>